Hey guys, I'm Dark Shark, and today we're gonna CC these brand new cylinder heads. Stick around. So I got a call that my cleaning thing was making noise. My response was, okay, those are all words. What in the world are you talking about? And she sent me a picture of this, my ultrasonic cleaner. So I get home and I saw that I had left the temperature set to 50 and turned on. That's 50 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that translates to, but hotter than shit. How's that? So I turned it off yesterday and let it cool and I haven't come out to see what's going on inside. So let's do that. My pulley key. All right. Oh, good. I was genuinely worried that I had cooked off all the cleaning fluid. Hmm, that didn't clean at all. Oh, maybe a little bit. These are the gears for the crank. Yeah, that was my big worry that I screwed up. And just cooked all the grease and shit onto the parts, but yeah, that's all right, I guess. I still need to get it with a wire brush or something. Ah, great. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Sorry, spiders. Anyway, well, I guess I can't reuse that one. <laughs> yeah. How the hell did that run like that? Damn. This is from the old, what I was told, 2180. Of course, it was actually a 2234. But... Yeah, that's, that's pretty toast. Yeah. By the way, you notice it's uh, a lot quieter, even though I you can hear the laundry. I got new stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Way, way, way quieter. I didn't turn this one on. Oh yeah. Get back to this. I had somebody on Facebook said they wanted some NDIX carbs and I'm like, ooh, I've got some. I'm not gonna use them. I'll sell them to you cheap. Well, all I found was the one that's all torn apart. I have no idea where the two intakes are or the other carb is. It's in the piles of shit here somewhere. Alright, so let's take those out and clean them up. We'll get a, uh, I have a brand new one of these floating around somewhere. we we'll get that out. And we'll CC the new heads. You know, every time I think I've found everything there is to find with that old engine, something else pops up. That looks hammered. I don't know if you can see just how bad that is, but that's pretty damn bad. But that's not the worst of it. Uh, what the hell is going on right there? I don't even know, but that's not the worst of it. What happened here? How did you even do that, whoever you are that built this thing?
Yeah, and look at that. Those just look bent to shit. I can't reuse this. That's awesome. The rest would look okay, but <laughs> look at that. That's insane. All right, what had to happen to this engine that that happened? And this thing was running when I pulled it out. It was leaking oil like a motherfucker, but it was running. Jesus. Well, that's two parts I need new. What else we got going on? Yeah, you're fine. Ooh, original VW. Not destroyed. Alright, you're good. The dishwasher looks okay. And this I could get new if I want to. But those roller bearings moved really well when I was playing with it, so. But I may go ahead and get a new one just because of that shit. Who knows what happened. Beer of the day. I know I've been on a Belgian beer kick lately. Let's see. use this to clean up that. And I have a good battery. Just cooked on. That's better. Not great, but good enough. Just wanted it cleaned up. Uh, what do we got with this? This is the spacer, which shouldn't need much of anything. And it would appear to be true. There's a little bit of looks like marks from the um, gear or something. I don't know. Whatever. It's a spacer. They're fine. And the heavy duty circlet. Again. There's not much to it as long as it isn't bent or warped or anything. And a smidge, that's fine. And the gland nut with the roller bearing. I may see if there's a new roller bearing I could put in there. Otherwise it seems okay. Problems. Do you guys see anything? Aside from, I should just replace the needle bearings no matter what.
HKIS 14RS or some shit. Depends on how cheap it is. Maybe cheaper just to buy a whole new blind net. And you're done. And you're done. And you go back. I don't know why I have so many of those damn things. They just like reproduce. And carb cleaner filling up the handle. So I'm splashing it everywhere. There. All clean. There. That's fine. I had to order a new one for the timing gear because I couldn't get it out of the crank. Alright, so pretty much the only stuff I can save is this right here. I know I can save that. You're trash. You're probably trash. No, you're trash. You got bent teeth. Maybe, but I seem to recall that it's cheaper just to buy this whole thing than to get a new bearing. So yeah, pretty much the cheapest parts are the parts I can reuse. Awesome. Brand new Mofoco heads. Mofoco. Mofoco. What's in here, Mofoco? <laughs> and came with studs. Nice. So what I want to do is figure out exactly how much space is in these so I can calculate the compression ratios. I want to get somewhere around, uh, let me find something to prop this up with. There we go. Damn, that's even level. <laughs> anyway, I want to get my compression ratio somewhere between eight and a half and nine I haven't decided yet right around there there you go perfect so I got the MP kit there's the part number if you are interested but it's basically just plastic discs and a syringe nothing else in the discs from in the common sizes so like that's a 94 disc I am um, I'm running 92s but I'm using thick wall 92s so that means we need 94 openings all right so oh come on peel off so I can see what I'm doing Ah, bastard. Oh, that's useless. Uh, I wish I didn't trim my nails. That would help. Now, I used to bite my nails a lot. So I got into the habit of trimming them regularly so I'm not tempted. But man, that would make life easier. You're shitting me. Stop it.
There we go. Okay. Shiny. I don't know what this shit is up on the top side. It's clear. Whatever. There we go. Now, so the idea is you put this in and it fills up the space that would normally be taken by the cylinder. And you take that and you fill it with something colorful. I think I've got some transmission fluid I can use. Well, I don't know where the transmission fluid is, but motor oil works. Solid, straight 40 weight. I am never going to use that for anything. And it's been opened. Who knows? All right. Let's get some into the syringe. I need a bowl. Hang on. There we go. Bowl. Pour some out. It's better to use something that's not clear because it's easier to see. And make sure you're not getting any air bubbles or anything. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You fill the syringe up. Oh, you can't see it. Let me put it up here. You fill the syringe up to the 60 milliliter mark and break it loose first there we go and you fill it up to 60 and this syringe is not happy with it being so thick the oil I'm drawing air more than oil. That's not making me happy either. Come on, get to 60. And am I at 60? Yeah, I need a smidge more. See if I can squeeze some of that air out. Okay. And let's get it to 60. There we go, 60. Okay. Now this might not actually be purely level, we'll see here in a minute. But all we do, stick that in there. And, oh, shit. Spark plug would be nice. So check this out. While I was looking for an old spark plug to use for this. Perfectly good ignition gear. That needs cleaning. And a good timing gear. No bent. No bent shit. like that. So this one gets to go away and we'll clean those later. I don't want to start the buzzing right now. Uh, sure. Okay. So let's get this spark plug in there. I can't believe I forgot to put the spark plug in. The threads are really snug. I'd have to get a socket out. No, that works. Yeah, that's good enough. No, it's not. <laughs> to go yet. Or do you? I think that's it. No way. Do I need deeper spark plugs for these heads? 
Let me get a socket. Yep, that's all you get. seems like they should go further in. Maybe not, I guess. Okay, that's all you get. There we go. I don't even have to use a spacer. I forgot I got that gap there in the, uh, in the table. Okay, let's put the this back in. Are we back at 60? No, I gotta extract some. Any little bit that's already in there, I might call that good. The liquid's at 60, even if the plunger isn't. Don't get excited. Come on, bubbles. Alright, you see how it's that line? That means it's flush with the plastic. That all the way. Yeah, you know, I was thinking these would be 55s, and that would appear to be the case. They're 55s. All right, so 55 cc for the chambers. I'll repeat this on the other ones just to double check, but I don't expect it to be any different. So there we go, easy peasy. There. So yeah, we are at right at 55. Good. That wasn't hard, was it? I made it harder than it needed to be. <laughs> I'm still not happy with that spark plug. I have a feeling I need to buy longer spark plugs. I'll email Mofoco and ask them. Mofoco? I have no idea. Is that the, how you pronounce it? I don't know. And so I'm going to lift that out now. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I just need a screwdriver or something. That'll work. Anyway, that's it. Not hard. But get yourself one of these kits. They're not expensive. I, I forget what I paid, but... They're, they're cheap enough that it's not worth making your own. And you know me, I always make my own shit. Or I try to. So there we go. Alright guys, you have a good one. We'll see you next time.